what Canal Plus is doing to accelerate change? <laughs> that would be easy. So, uh, I am uh, uh, in charge of uh, coordinating and uh, involving every department in three domains of action we identified as essential for us, which are uh, gender equality, promotion of diversity, and uh, improvement of our environmental footprint. Uh, each of, uh, of our departments in the group uh, have uh, committed uh, in action plans in the three domains and so did, uh, for example, HR marketing uh, and uh, technical and, uh, of course, our, our program units and uh, fiction. Um, so I, I, I want to belong on uh, the role of fiction. I think we all agree that uh, it has a huge power because uh, it can offer... Uh, a transformative experience to the audience uh, and uh, it can be a good and uh, a bad uh, a bad influence uh, depending on the models and the values uh, I choose to promote. Uh, regarding uh, gender equality and promotion of diversity, uh, our series department are really vigilant on that. Uh, uh, I've been really vigilant on that uh, since for a long time now, and uh, for uh, for a year now, uh, they they communicate um, a charter to uh, engage all partner producers to uh, represent uh, women and diversities uh, without stereotypes or cliches or stigmatization. So is it in his stories or is it in during the shooting? In or? Uh, both, okay. both, but uh, it's in the team and uh, in the stories. And uh, this charter uh, is now endorsed by also Studio Canal, our uh, uh, film and series uh, studio, European studio. Um, regarding environmental footprint, uh, we created <laughs> two workshops. <laughs> <laughs> um, one, one because uh, fiction has to, pro to progress in uh, making production more sustainable. That's why uh, Canal Plus Group joined the uh, French collective Ecoprod, mm -hmm. uh, as well as other broadcasters and, uh, and uh, public institutions, uh, in order to promote and uh, facilitate uh, the adoption of uh, responsible uh, practices in, in filmmaking. And uh, we had uh, we had uh, some some success uh, last year with, um, for example, uh, the collapse, uh, two series, the collapse and uh, the third season of uh, Baron Noir. Uh, they they, drama they drastically limited the uh, waste and uh, transport and uh, meat consumption to limit to limit uh, the environmental impact of uh, of uh, filming. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, two, the second workshop uh, is uh, about the stories and how they can help or prevent um, uh, to facing the environmental challenges, uh, the, the current environmental challenges. Um, uh, so okay, and later we're going to show the yeah. on s'adapt. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe that's, we can... That's uh, how... Ah, okay, yeah, later? We, okay. Okay, yeah, let's just uh, ask uh, Roda, for example. Uh, um, uh, can you explain us uh, briefly uh, wh what you're doing and, 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 and how, you, uh, how do you influence your content to go towards change? Mm -hmm. um, I co-founded uh, Fiction Change in the World, an audiovisual production company that is uh, specialized in sustainable production. We work both on reducing the negative impact of uh, filmmaking, our activity itself, and also we're specializing in the creation of fictional content, meaning films and TV series, short films, that uh, would spread important information about sustainable development in an organic and en engaging and entertaining way. You know? um, and how does it work right now? Is it Yes, uh, we're launching the movement. For the moment, we've been uh, working really hard on settling the foundations of the movement and sorting out in certain obstacles that you have to face when you think about using fiction um, it's a great way to convey this information to a massive audience but also you need to make sure that the audience is able to tell what's fact and what's fiction from this story you know? so we needed to create a new work methodology to create this content 
and involve scientists and uh, experts in the um, writer's room, work hand in hand, not just give out advice or tell them to read this report and then they could do whatever they wanted with this data, but actually work in a hand on hand pro um, process to co-create those content um, and to find that perfect balance uh, of uh, entertainment, engaging the audience, touch people's hearts like the film industry has always done uh, and also provide a few key important messages that need to be delivered to society as a whole. You know? That's great. Also, the movement has a, a seal that endorses this um, fictional uh, content, uh, making sure that not only the chosen theme uh, that is portrayed in those uh, films or TV series, which by the way could be any genre, it could be a uh, romantic comedy, it could be a thriller, an adventure film, whatever, uh, but uh, the chosen theme and the way it's being told it's correct and the science is right and what we're telling you is something that you can apply to your own life. It's a call to action for everybody. Yes. And Marilou, um, at the Festival Atmosphere, it's, it's basically you're using uh, actors from the society, talking to people creating fictions? Yes. Atmosphere is an artistic and scientific event, mainly a film festival. We will celebrate the 10th anniversary on, uh, in October, 6th to 11th. Uh, so as a film programmer, um, we have to find the perfect blend of um, entertainment and scientific knowledge, culture. So it's a challenge. Uh, what was the question again? No, because I, I saw that at your festival you uh, you interview a lot of personality coming from action yes. and and putting together with movies, so it's it's like a cross crossroads. Yeah, the goal is to have an impact on the, the audience. Um, it has to be mainstream, but uh, not consensual. Another challenge. Uh, so after uh, the movies, we have uh, Q A's with scientists and experts, and uh, we also try to have people to participate in, uh, for example, uh, making short films or uh, writing synopsis, uh, and that's why we have uh, two competitions that we will launch in uh, April. Yeah. What What's the name of the competition? What What will be the the short film competition, the theme is uh, the dream life and the synopsis uh, competition, uh, it's for feature films, but you don't have to be a professional, it's open to everybody and uh, it's uh, three to five uh, pages. Um, it's really wide, it uh, can tell your vision of a new society, the future. Um, create new types of heroes, new behaviors. Not, try not to be too catastrophist, if possible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's good to know, yeah. <laughs> and Morgan, so you're, um, you're working, you're doing product placement, ethical one. So how is it different from the classical product placement? Yeah. Uh, so I think we realized how great was the influence of film and TV series in our behaviors and the messages. So you're all convinced of that, right? I don't need to... I still will give you an, an example so that you can tell and convince like the other around you who are not. Um, do you know who the president of the Ukrainian Republic is? His name is Volodymyr Zelensky and he was a comedian before becoming president. He had no political experience at all. And why was he elected president? Because he was playing the role of the Ukrainian president in a very famous TV show. <laughs> okay. And so you're like, okay, <laughs> we need to use that power to promote all the solutions that exist already and that can make our world change. Because I was quite frustrated. Uh, like I had, when you're digging on the internet, for instance, you're, look, you're finding so much knowledge and so much solutions everywhere. And this um, event is really the proof that there are many solutions out there. But people don't know they exist. Uh, people are still with like a lot of uh, prejudices uh, with these with these solutions. So they imagine that uh, buying a solid shampoo, for instance, like it, it's not easy and it will smell bad and all these kind of prejudices. And so we're like, okay, we need to use that power of film to show that it's not true and to promote all these amazing solutions. And in the end, show the world of tomorrow, the dream world of tomorrow. 
And so for us, the easiest way to do this was to use something that producers know, uh, knew already, which was product placement, mm. and kind of like hack or like turn the purpose of um, product placement to make it like a product placement for good. Uh, so it's what we do, we are a social enterprise um, and so we offer a communication service to solutions. Uh, so we identified what are their very their stakes, do they want to like yeah, fight a prejudice they have or do they want to increase their uh, visibility to a, a kind of audience. And then we go and find the perfect uh, match with the film produc production and producers are more and more willing to integrate these solutions in the film. Um, because they, it's also an inspiration for them. That's so, nice. yeah. But producers, you said producers, but directors probably? Directors as well. But, and, um, and writers? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So, how do you, do you work um, before the moving being shot or? Yeah. Um, so, what we do is that we, the brands, the solutions, um, the people who have a message, a sustainable message to go through, they come to us, we identify what they need, and then we go out uh, to writers and producers, and we see either it's, um, it will be product placement because the brands just want, because there are two ways kind of to, to influence uh, through a film, either it's like normalizing some behaviors, so it's, for instance, like having everyone in every film recycle the right way or be, being zero waste. But here it doesn't have to be like the subject of the film. So we can come like at the end of the financing process and then just like put the products or the behavior or the message at that point. And then the writer doesn't really need to uh, change anything because if it fits the character, it works. Mm -hmm. Or we can go uh, come way earlier during the writing phase uh, with the brands who really want or solution who really wants to get involved into the creative process. And here we work yeah, from the writing uh, phase. From the beginning. Okay. Maybe you can show the Marine uh, your um, um, call to project. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Kevin. Oh, yeah. So here we, we wanted to question the fact that uh, in fictions, fictions are either ignoring the ecolo e ecological crisis or promising us uh, the collapse of our world, uh, leaving us with uh, no rules and uh, just savagery. Um, and we know, especially here, and you said it, uh, that uh, there are plenty of uh, other options uh, we can dream of uh, or uh, just project. Um, so uh, here we are working uh, in partnership with, uh, so, so it's, a, it's a call for project um, organized by our short movie department uh, in partnership with uh, Spark News, it's a committed company in, in uh, am amplifying uh, um, positive impact solutions, uh, initiatives. Um, ProArti, who is a crowdfunding platform uh, with an expertise on uh, content producing. Parvi, uh, two, two scientists uh, specialized in, specialized in uh, sociology and political uh, science and very committed in uh, climate change issue, issues and, uh, and uh, the debate we can create around it. And uh, also EcoProd because uh, we want uh, these movies to be eco-produced. So how does it work if you are a director, writer, or creator? What do you do? You, 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 you present a project yeah. with um, these companies, or uh, how? No, we will we will launch a, a, a website. I think it's at the end of the presentation. Uh, during all the, from throughout the duration of the call of project, uh, a website and conferences will give uh, access to uh, open access to uh, scientific materials, because we want uh, the stories to be realistic, uh, not utopias, but realistic and uh, present uh, a, a realistic but uh, but uh, desirable future. That's nice. So uh, each of you uh, are yes. trying to have a scientific uh, yeah. aspect uh, that you want to bring into <laughs> fiction, in a way. And yeah. I don't know how Okay, so uh, 10 projects will be selected and we have a writing residency in June. Um, then uh, the production will be financed by Canal Plus and by a crowdfunding campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all the, the short movies will be Broadcasted on Canal Plus in 2021. So here you, no, you have here the address if you are interested. 
So uh, we launched it uh, at the beginning of March and it will also uh, be announced uh, next week at uh, Clermont-Ferrand Festival. <laughs> like you said, like of, um, we all uh, want the science uh, mm -hmm. to be there. The science has to be accurate. They have the answers and they're developing more and more solutions. But also I believe the power of fiction is that we can inspire people, we can create role models, yeah. we can promote positive changes in the behavior and, and through that achieve a better world. We cannot just tell people that the world is uh, almost coming to an end, that we're facing these incredible challenges, that they're really pressing and they're very real. I have a little baby, I'm, I want my baby to enjoy the world. Uh, and, but uh, with fiction, we can tell you all about this, but also give you um, possible solutions, give you uh, a role in this fight. We can provide you with uh, the information you need to start your own uh, new change and your own fight for a new world. No? And for us, that was uh, really, really meaningful. Uh, films and series we've already been doing inspiring and touching people's hearts for years that's why I became a writer and a filmmaker myself but uh, we have a feather responsibility in our industry we reach massive audience we can uh, convey this message uh, in a very strong and meaningful way for everybody yeah, we need so. stories actually so that's that's yeah. and stories are powerful and we really need them yeah. so so yeah, we can. As, as part of our movement, one, movement, one of the requirements is that those stories, it can be in a genre, but you have, they have to be inspiring. They have it to, to be constructive, you know? And because uh, we can just not simply depress people. And, mm -hmm. and we need to move as, as species and make this change together. We have to give images to a future we, we, we would have people want to, to, to change and to be able to, to build it. Because uh, here the images uh, just say there's nothing to do about it. Either uh, too confident because uh, everything will be solved or just doesn't exist, or too fearful. And then you just uh, do nothing and enjoy what you have. <laughs> But then, yeah, the challenge here is that you want to show a desirable world, so it's an utopia in a kind of way, but how do you dramatize an utopia? So it's the whole thing where you have to find a way to create drama into that utopian world, so does it have to be on your context, or is it like a crime story into an utopian world, but then it's not realistic anymore? And I was talking to a young girl yesterday who said, yeah, all the Netflix TV series, uh, they have like, they tick all the boxes, you know, like there is a, the the homosexual person and the black person and, and, and I, as an audience like I, it doesn't work because it's too unrealistic it's way too ticking the boxes so it's how do we make it realistic it's still desirable and present like innovative things that like doesn't really exist yet but making it realistic yeah making it today Marilou what, what did you see at the festival uh, did you see the programmation evolving is it how is it different and uh, with the blockbusters, it's hard to avoid uh, catastrophes, like uh, I said before. Um, but um, with the synopsis competition, I realized that there were many projects uh, um, coming uh, together. And uh, so there's, a, I think, a transition uh, happening, uh, I hope, in the film industry. And a good story, of course, at some point the character has to test to go wrong and bad to be an interesting story. Yeah, there's conflict. <laughs> good stories are conflict. So, yeah. And uh, also we want to avoid, avoid the, the happy ending, always the same stories. So it's a challenge. So I, in, I invite uh, screenwriters that are in the, the audience to, to take a pen and Right, please. Hoda, <laughs> you're right. You you're a director too. Yeah, oh. it is a challenge, but it just makes you be more creative. <laughs> uh, conflicts can be solved in many different ways, and that's what makes um, actually stories move along. But those endings, um, they don't have to be cheesy. They don't have to be like. Um, um, 
not not realistic, but they can they can leave this little uh, crack of light coming through the door of uh, opportunities at the end of the of the film. And and I believe science and technology. We're in a moment where we have the solutions at the reach of our hands. Um, um, the other day at the opening ceremony, um, Monsieur Picard was saying that it's not futuristic uh, technology that uh, is going to help us change the world. It's the technology from today. We already have it. We're just using all, all, all technology. And in stories, we can portray these new, the, the actual uh, solutions that scientists know about, that experts know about and actually help us all um, move together. But also, as viewers and consumers, we have um, power that we don't realize. We can really pressure the companies that are not doing things really right, the industry that are not transforming already. We can select who we vote, if they have things there in the programs, uh, uh, solutions for that. No? So it is a matter of uh, inspiring people it's a matter of uh, letting people know that they have the power that they okay, have they the tools you know? if you if you want to ask questions we are only have five minutes so not many questions but if anyone actually yeah to talk about conflict um it's interesting because I guess the desirable, the desirable world of tomorrow is not going to be perfect. It's going to mean that we have to, I don't know if like we want to come from um, a competition state of mind and go to a cooperation state of mind. I think it's going to like maybe we have conflict inside. So and the desirable world, we need to test it as well. And it's not going to be perfect. So maybe it's a, yeah, also a way to, in this desirable world, there are things that's going to create conflict, conflicts anyway. And I think here there are there is a great inspiration uh, and creative uh, opportunity. It's Any really comforting that uh, we converge on the method <laughs> and that we all believe that uh, there is path to create between uh, researchers and uh, storytellers to help change. Yeah, one way to be creative would be to ask for the researchers and, uh, and take in the new information to, to, do, to create new stories. Partnerships again, right? Because on the previous... Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Atmosphere made a partnership with the um, French Agency of uh, Environment and uh, Energy. And so the screenwriters who participated in the competition will have next Wednesday um, workshops uh, with scientists uh, throughout the day. So I agree that uh, we have to, to feed stories with the actual knowledge. Um, well, that's nice. Uh if you want to add something, um, I would like uh, to invite every storyteller, filmmaker, producer, broadcaster uh, who is interested to to actually check out the Dante movement. And uh, you can see it in our webpage, fcwproductions.com. And if it's something that really moves you, if this is something that you really think you can contribute to, we are welcoming everybody. This is an open invitation to fill the screens uh, all around the world with inspiring stories, with the Dante methodology, and to actually change the world one story at a time. So please join us and help us change the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We have two minutes, so in, no questions, nobody? No, really, no. <laughs> it's clear for everybody. They're, you're all really convinced, right? Yeah, <laughs> everybody is convinced. Perfect. <laughs> oh, look, there's a question. Okay. There's a question. Uh, so maybe you can bring her, yeah. Hello, uh, thank you for those uh, inspiring opportunities. I'm a storyteller. Um, I'm just a bit, um, I just want to yeah, give you the question and then make you react because I hear all of you uh, call on to science as a support for the storytelling, but if science could save us, it would have already done so because we all have, <laughs> it's a change of mindset that we need. So I'm just yeah, wondering if in the script that you're going to review for the festivals or canal, if you're going to look for this, this change, which uh, happens on a deeper level than the level of knowledge and practical matters. 
So it will be Marine or Marilou. Uh, it's a very good question. I would say science plus a little bit of fiction because I think we need to have ideas to make things uh, make things come become real. Uh, for years we've been uh, building uh, ideas and dreams like uh, the American dream or um, the perfect couple or being uh, rich uh, and etc. So, um, but we can convey more interesting ideas maybe. So science plus fiction to initiate reality. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, in fact, uh, the, the objective is not to have uh, stories um, about science. It's just uh, stories taking into account the, the works of the researchers uh, around these issues. So we want to have, uh, as Roda said, we want to have romantic stories or, uh, I don't know, no. Adventure, just, just rivers, stories. The stories. <laughs> yes, it's about the stories. First of all, it has to be a great story yeah. that moves people, that helps promote these behavioral changes. We also base our methodology on behavioral science uh, and psychology that knows how to help people change the set of mind or insert ideas in an emotional way. So we, as filmmakers, we've already been doing that for many years. Now we just have to take into account what science is telling us and not overwhelm, not lecture people about the science. This is a great story that probably conveys two, three key points that you really need to know that will help you evolve in your life. You know? Thank you very much. So it will be a next table. So I have, um, I have to tell some people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome.